on. We're just gonna go with that. Okay, you guys. So let's jump in. Before we get to KPI kind of stuff, I wanna go over just some housekeeping stuff. Make sure for all of you new people that are on, you know exactly kind of what, what we have going on during the week that you can take, a, take part of to um, build your business, to get the help and the support that you need. Um, so every single Monday night at nine o'clock, we have one of these Zoom trainings. Every single week, we do not miss. If we're on vacation, we get somebody to cover for us. Sometimes it's different leaders from other teams, but we will always have a team Zoom, at least on Monday nights at nine o'clock. Everything we do is Eastern time. 99% of the time, the Zoom ID is always the same Zoom ID. Um, so you will get very familiar with this number and that password. So just keep it safe, keep it handy because it's almost always on the same um, Zoom ID. Throughout the week, we offer power hours every single day at random times during the week that you are more than welcome to hop on with us. And all we do is work. We turn on some music. We have some leaders saying like what they're doing um, to build their business right then, maybe give some tips, but we're always there to answer questions, you guys. None of them are required. But especially if you're new and you're unsure of what to do, I really recommend just hopping on and listening in, getting some tips, asking questions, get involved, get plugged in. They are um, in your team page, whatever team page you're a part of, they are listed under the announcements tab. Um, so like I said, we have those every day. We have them um, six days a week. We don't have any on Sundays, but otherwise we always have power hours throughout the week that you are more than welcome to jump on and work with us. On Wednesday nights, me and Brittany, do a opportunity Zoom at 9 p.m. for your potential distributors. So as you guys start to have conversations with um, potential business partners and you just, for whatever reason, you can't seal the deal with them or they're just, they're just so unsure, they're like, I just don't know, I don't know if it's for me, and you just want them to hear from somebody else, invite them to that. It's super low key, it's just like this. They don't have to turn their camera on. We love it if they do, um, but they don't have to turn their camera on. It's just a really chill way for them to get the information. We tell our stories, and then we will also share with them how they can get started in the business for zero dollars out of pocket. So especially if you have a potential who is, um, you know, they wanna get started, but they can't come up with the $99 every single Wednesday night at nine o'clock, it's the same Zoom ID that you use to get on this. We have those, um, so you can always feel free to invite them to that, um, and we will help you seal the deal. So that's kind of our weekly schedule as a team. There will always be so many extra um, team trainings that pop up, and those will all be available in your um, whatever team page you're in. We always post them in there, so keep an eye out. Turn notifications on for team pages so that you don't miss out on anything. This week, I know um, tomorrow, Brittany is doing one that goes over, I think they're doing maybe Reels and TikTok, which is so huge. Reels is brand new on Instagram. Um, I actually just did my very first one today. My goal is going to be to do one every single day, um, but they are going to be going over how to use Reels to build your network. It's really, really big. Anytime Instagram comes out with a new feature, if you can be one of the first to use it, it will actually improve your algorithm um, and it'll just boost your stuff up to the top of the page because you're using a new feature and it shows you as like an engaged user. Um, so if you're free tomorrow night, hop on again, that information is in the team page. So it's gonna be good. I just know it's gonna be so good. I'll be on um, and I just can't wait to hear all of their tips. So that's tomorrow, but there's always um, extra trainings that pop up. We do record almost everything. So if you can't get on live, that's okay. We will post recordings, but there's just something about being on um, in real time, in time um, and live and interacting with whoever's speaking. Um, I love all the cameras, you guys. Everybody who has their camera on, like, thank you. It just is so good to just talk to, talk to actual faces instead of blank screens. So um, I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you. Okay, let's jump into what promotions um, we have going on right now. Britt asked that I kind of go over this and go over the requirements um, so that we make sure that nobody misses um, a bonus just because of a little technicality in the in the requirements okay so we do have a ruby bonus available so if you joined in the month of september you are eligible to earn a 300 ruby bonus okay requirement number one 
is you get your first six loyal customers quickly, quickly, quickly. You have to get them this month. Um, so six loyal customers, and then you do have to go Ruby this month, which I'm not gonna go into what that actually means because we would be here all night. But essentially you have three distributors under you. They each have a volume of 400. You have a 2000 um, group volume. That is what Ruby means. Um, that is paid out in two months. You do have to maintain Ruby both months. So you would go Ruby this month in September. You would get $150 extra in your September commissions. And then again, when you maintain Ruby next month, you would have $150 paid out in next month's commissions as well. Okay, so everyone who joined in September is eligible to earn that. If you also join this month, you are also eligible to earn an $8,000 diamond bonus. Okay, you have three calendar months to earn that bonus. Um, we may have some people on here because $24 kits was going on in September that joined on September 1st. If you join on September 1st, you have September, October, and November to earn that bonus. And if you join the second through the rest of the month, you would have October, November, and December to earn that bonus, okay? I'm, again, I'm not gonna go over what diamond means, but that first requirement holds true. You do have to get your first six customers this month within your first 30 days to be eligible for that bonus, okay? Um, when you go diamond, so say somebody comes in, they're a complete rock star, they go diamond in the first month, you do have to, um, they call it validate, you do have to maintain that diamond rank the second month before that actually, the payout actually starts, okay? Um, if you have questions about that, feel free to ask your upline, they can go in more in depth um, with you about that. If you were an existing distributor before, so if you joined in June or July, you are still, like you're still working on your, you joined when there was a $15,000 um, diamond bonus available, you can still earn that. August enrollments, because I know there are a lot of people on here that joined in August, you are eligible for the $8,000 um, bonus. This is the one caveat that I'm like, I want everybody, if you are an August enrollment and you're going after that, I want you to hear this. You have to have six customers enrolled in September. Even if you enrolled six last month, you have to have six new customers enrolled in the month of September to be eligible for that, that $8,000 bank it bonus is what they're calling it. Okay, all the other requirements are the same. You have three months to go diamond um, for that $8,000 bonus. So, whew. That was a lot, of, a lot of technicalities. I know that some of that didn't apply to some people, but I just wanted to know, like everybody to hear it, if you are going for a bonus, I don't want you to miss out just because of one little um, thing that got missed or you didn't validate or you didn't get your six loyal customers. Really, those are the most important. Um, six loyal customers. Um, yes, if they join in July, they have August, September, October. Um, and they do not need an extra six. So July was the normal six. The only one that's kind of the caveat is August. August has to have a new six loyal customers. Yes, correct. Um, Amanda, it depends on what bonus. If they are an old bonus, um, that's, it's just for August enrollments that have to have them in September. Okay, yes. No, they have to be enrolled through your website. They have to be enrolled through the new person's website. They have to be personally enrolled by the person earning the bonus, okay? Um, you guys can keep asking questions in the chat. I will try to go back and um, read them, but we have a lot to get in talking about the KPI tracker, okay? So this is relatively new. I remember hearing Amber Parker talk about it um, which is another, she's a field leader. She's also a distributor, but she's a field leader. Um, she works for corporate as well. Probably six months ago, and I kind of was like, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. It sounds kind of like a six list. It sounds kind of like what we already do. Um, but it wasn't until really probably the past month where I heard people saying, this tracker has transformed my business. So for those of you who don't know what it is, if you go to your document library in your e-suite and just search the word daily, you are going to have a couple things that pop up. 
One of them is going to be your um, daily task list. The other one is an actual tracker um, sheet, which you can print out. This is the only one that I have I printed out personally because I think the other one's kind of redundant, but the daily task list is what we're going to go through today. Um, and y'all, I took, I took notes because I didn't want to forget anything. Um, so I will try to like stay on track. Um, you guys get this printed out. If you do not have a printer, I write it on paper. I don't like you have to have it in front of you. Um, and this is the thing that's cool about it is if you kind of like pick and choose this or this or this, um, just, you know, the tasks that are easy, you're not going to get the results that you want. Everybody on here is, I'm guessing you're on here because you want to build a successful business. This is literally, this is it. This is the steps that you need to take every single day. And they all work together to build a very, very successful business. And the thing that's cool about it is, um, if you are really diligent about keeping track of what days you get what done, you can look and see if you're not getting the results you want, you will be able to pinpoint what you're not doing um, that's keeping you from getting the results that you want. Or like, for example, last week was the first week that I really like got real about this and like got serious about keeping track of how many messages I got out and what days I got what done. And I can tell you, I can look back and I did really good um, Monday, through Wednesday and then my kids went back to school and I had packed in all these appointments on Thursday and Friday because I finally had a day to myself. And guess what days I struggled to get my stuff done and I didn't get everything done Thursday and Friday. So I can look back and I can see like, okay, Trista, y'all, you, you need to get it together. Like obviously you were not prepared for that. Um, so you need to figure out what you need to do in your schedule to make it work, okay? so. Um, it allows you to look back and have tangible data to look at to see if you're not getting the results that you want, why you're not getting the results you want. I can tell you um, really everything that you need to be doing every single day to build your business is on this list, okay? Um, there's a couple I'm gonna talk about at the end that I think aren't on the list that I think should be on the list that we're gonna add in. Um, the other really awesome part about this is you can sit down and get this knocked out. If you are like dedicated and you have distractions gone, you can get this list done in an hour to an hour and a half and then spend time making content or just be off of your phone and be doing family things and things that you need to do. I know a lot of you work full time. Um, and so, and you guys hear me, I worked this business full time for the first year I did this. So it can be done. You just have to learn how to be really disciplined with your time. Um, and when you sit down to work and make sure you're working and you're not just scrolling on social media. And that I think is the awesome part about this because it tells you what to do. Like we're not just scrolling randomly. We have a, we've got a tangible number that we're doing. We've got all of the things. Okay. So let's go. Um, let me make sure I didn't miss anything there. Okay. All right. So we're going to walk through the 10 tasks. And I'm just going to kind of give you some tips how I do it. Um, if you guys have questions, again, put them in the chat. We are here. I'm here to just help in any way that I can. Um, but yeah. Okay. So the goal of what we're, what we do every single day is to grow our network on social media, to connect with people that ultimately leads to enrollments. Okay. But if you're doing everything on this list, there are going to be more eyes on your page than ever before. So let's start with just one little tip before we jump in, clean up your page, okay? If you have a bunch of random shares, delete them. If you have a bunch of spammy or controversial, controversial, I can't even say that word, um, or anything that's negative or just not attractive, just go ahead and get it off of your page because when people come to your page, you want them to like know what you're about right away. They want you to be like, oh, this girl's like, she's positive. She's got something going on. She looks fun. I want to follow her. Okay. Um, so with that, make your profile picture a great picture of you. You, maybe your family, but have it a, just an eye-catching picture of you, a great cover photo. Edit your bio um, so that it is just like people know what you're about. So mine, 
I don't even know what mine says. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Um, so when people come to my page, I want them to know what Trista is about. So my profile picture is just a nice picture of me, just a pretty design. I'm going to like update this for fall here in just a minute. Um, it says fueled by Jesus coffee and hugs, wife plus mom times two, him greater than me. So they know I'm all about my coffee. I love Jesus. I probably am nice because I like hugs. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I'm probably either I have faith or I'm a Christian, but they have a snapshot of who I am. Same thing on Instagram. When they pull up my page, they get to know just a little bit about who I am. So it's my name and I changed the fonts. It just looks really pretty. Um, Trista, fueled by Jesus Coffee and Hugs, wife and mom plus times two, fit-ish. I like to work out, but I love donuts. I pray I become less and he becomes more. So people just have an idea of who you are um, when they click on your profile, okay? You guys, take it works out of anything. <laughs> if you have it works on there, the first thing people are gonna do is when they like, oh, this girl's cute, what she's about, if they're in story or for some reason you could pop up on their page or you send that friend request and they click on your profile, if they see it works, they will not add you back. Okay, they will not add you as a friend. Um, so just get it out, get it off your page. Um, when you pull up my Instagram, which you guys, I've all, I'm going to be real. I've only really worked Instagram for about a month, um, which don't make that mistake. I know Britt and I both have said like, man, we wish we would have like started working at hardcore back in the day, five years ago, we have a killer, killer Instagram. Um, but you like, it's there. If you really, really look, I've got some pictures of my coffee. Um, I'm all the time talking about the opportunity, but you really have to like look and read to figure out that I'm an It Works distributor, okay? I'm not trying to be sneaky. I just want people to know like who I am as a person because that's what people connect with, okay? Which we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Um, but that's just, just a tip before we get started is to make your page look super attractive. Um, and just let people know who you are and what you're about. Okay, so the ta first task on here is show yourself using a product, okay? If you've been in for a minute, this is pretty, we have been like, we hound this until we're like blue in the face. Um, do your hands-free video every single morning, making your coffee or your collagen at night or whatever that product is for you that you love. We talk about this literally until we're blue in the face. But if you are brand new, one of the first things I recommend you do, if you can afford it, send yourself a coffee sample. Before, um, before you earn your free product, if you are like brand spanking new and you're like, I have no product, I don't know what to do, send yourself a coffee sample. So if you log into your It Works sample app, you can actually just type in your own address, your own phone number, your own email, send one to yourself so that that way you have a coffee um, three days of coffee that you can actually like use. You can save the videos. You can take a ton of selfies, but people want to know what you think about products. And the sooner you can get product in your hand, the better. So if you can afford to send yourself a coffee sample and not sell that for $20, um, then I recommend, I recommend you do that. Okay. You do have the ability to sell them all so that that way you make all of your cash back. But if you can do it, send yourself one. So you have sample or you have product to start using right away. So um, one of, I'm just gonna like walk through a day in the life of Trista building her business, okay? So one of the very first things I do every single morning is I make my coffee and I come on my story and I make it on a video. Now, sometimes I'm talking while I'm making my coffee and I'm talking about my coffee or I'm talking about what we're doing that day. Sometimes I'm like, you know, I'm just talking and I'm sharing why I love the coffee. It's on sale. I'm talking about all of the reasons that um, I love it. Okay. And sometimes I just um, record myself making it, but I don't talk. And then I time lapse it and I add music to it. Um, so people know every single morning they're going to see me making my coffee, but they're not going to see it the exact same way every single time because they'll just click off if they know. Um, they think they know what I'm going to say. They know what I'm going to do. They know what I'm going to add to it. I make my coffee all kinds of different ways. And so sometimes I'll talk and I'll share why I'm adding my protein to it or why 
you know, how I make it a cold brew or how I make it hot or what you can add to it, why it's so versatile. Um, so, and I know most of the leaders do this. So find a leader that you connect with and follow them and do what they do. Make it yours. Um, but you guys, this business is awesome and we have really awesome leaders to follow. So follow the lead of the leaders um, and you won't be disappointed. So I'm gonna jump because number five is share someone's corporate approved before and afters. I personally think that this works really well with talking about a product that you, that you use. Um, everybody, if you do not, you need to go to Instagram and follow the page goal digger underscore influence. Oh, you probably can't, if somebody can type that in the chat, goal digger underscore influence. This page is done by another um, top leader and it is incredible, you guys. So what I do is every single morning, I'll make my coffee. Sometimes I talk, sometimes I just do a video with music. But what she has done is if you go here to the highlights and for all of the products, they're here. But if you go to Skinny Brew, this is gonna bring up Skinny Brew stories that you can just screenshot and add to your story, okay? Now, when you screenshot it, this is just like a little tip, when you screenshot it, so if you hold it down, it gets rid of the name up top, okay? So screenshot it, but then you wanna crop it so that this black is not on the top and not on the bottom, so it looks like it's something that you actually like created and added, okay? So you can do that, you just screenshot it, It'll save to your camera roll, and then you can just go and upload it to your story. So most of the time, what I will do is I'll do my video of me making my coffee, and then I'm gonna get a couple of these that have before and afters on them, and then I'm gonna upload those. One other little tip is end your product story with a poll or some kind of interactive um one of those little sliders so when you're doing your story i'll just pull up my story from last night so last night i made my collagen story um this is just me actually talking about a series that we found on netflix and then i get to oh by the way i'm getting ready to make my collagen here is my before picture um and then this is why I love it. This is my after picture. This is what it's done for my skin. So I'm telling my story um, to add pictures onto your video is super, super simple now in Instagram. Um, so you just record it. And then when you go to upload it, if you go down here, and I'm just gonna pick a random picture. I don't know what this is. But say I have, I have my video in Instagram and I wanna add my before and after picture to it. If you just click, on the little like smiley face up in the where it brings up like gifts and you can add music and all of that if you scroll down and click there's one with camera and there's one with picture if you click on the one with picture it will let you um pick what picture you want to add and i just have a favorites where i keep my before and afters and my most used like things that i add the income disclosure i keep in my favorites um, so then you can just add it right there and it's super simple. Um, but at the end of your story, I do recommend ending with a poll or <clears throat> a little slidey thing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> a little slidey thing. Does that make sense? Um, so let me just click through. So I'm talking about my collagen, why I love it, my before and after, and then a poll um, and I think I put on there <clears throat> do you want healthier skin or healthier hair and um, <clears throat> make sure that you like screenshot who responds so that way you know who to message if you can't get to it right away um, but giving a call to action is huge at the end of your stories um, so I always recommend giving a call to action um, I'm just gonna walk through kind of my story for the rest of the day so that was product and then my coffee this morning, same kind of thing, a little inspirational, real. Um, and then 
this is my opportunity story. This is, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but I ended it with one of those, have you ever thought about doing what I do or making some money from home with like that little slidey thing that they can say like, yep, I thought about it. I really want to, or I don't. Um, so giving them something to interact with you with is huge. Okay. So those two are pretty simple. Show yourself using a product, share someone's corporate approved before and afters. I, you guys, I sell a ton of collagen and Skinny Brew because those are the two products that I'm on there every single day talking about, showing people's before and afters, saying why I love it. I have my own personal before and afters for collagen. So the sooner you can get your personal before and afters, the better. So if you don't have those, um, I really recommend getting them ASAP. Okay, this is probably where we will spend maybe the most time. Um, and that's number two. So number two is make a post about your personal story. Okay. Now I know we have some super, super brand new people on here. So you're probably thinking, well, I don't really like, what's my story. I don't really have a story. Right. Um, every single one of you has a story and there is someone out there waiting for you to tell it. I can promise you that, okay? Um, so kind of some questions um, to think about when you're like, well, crap, I'm just brand new. I don't really know what my story is. Here are some questions that if you answer, maybe um, Sherry, can you maybe type these in the chat for me? Okay, what made you say yes? What obstacles did you have to overcome to say yes? What are your goals? What are you excited about? So maybe for some of you, it is you just joined to um, try some product. Maybe earn some product for free. That's cool. We can start there, that's totally fine. Um, because there's somebody out there who also wants some hair, skin, and nails or some skinny brew for free. So if that's you, that's totally fine. Here's the thing though, you gotta be vocal about it. You gotta say like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just joined this company. I wanted to try hair, skin, and nails, but I didn't wanna pay for it. I didn't have the extra money. So I'm gonna earn it for free. But then what do you have to do? You gotta go get to work and earn it for free. So those people are gonna see you be like, oh, okay, she, she did it. Um, she put it out there. She believed that she was going to do it. And then she went and did it. Um, and then your, your story is going to change. That's the really cool part. So when I joined, my story was I was working as a pediatric registered nurse. I was super tired of working all the flipping time and never seeing my family, but still being just barely able to cover our bills and freaking out every time I had to go to the grocery store. I was really tired of having a panic, panic attack in the checkout line. That's what I talked about, you guys, how two to three hundred extra dollars a month was going to be life changing for us. Um, but I talked about it with belief and confidence and I was vulnerable and I was real and I was OK putting myself out there. You guys, that's what people connect with. People want to believe um, that there's somebody out there who's in the same boat as they are. OK, but but that you're not staying there. You're doing something about it. And that's what people will be attracted to. And that's what they'll connect with. So maybe. Um, you just wanted to make some new friends. There are tons of people out there who want to make new friends, you guys. I know Corona has kind of like, it, it put a little damper on us for a hot minute. Um, but I'm, I'm back. I'm over it. I'm seeing all of you guys now. So um, we are going to be back together soon. And so, um, but even, even just through Zoom and having people that like pour into you and believe in you and speak life over you, a lot of people crave that. Um, and this this business will give that to them. So be open about that. Maybe that's your story. Maybe you want some confidence or some belief in yourself. Um, maybe you just want to try something new. Maybe you do want to make some extra money or maybe you want to replace your full-time income. If you want that and you know it and you're not friends with your employer on Facebook, then put it out there. <laughs> I probably wouldn't do it if you are friends with your employer on Facebook. Um, but be confident in what um, and what you guys have your hands on and what you're going to do. I can tell you the people who put it out there and then go like, start small, put out your little goal, 
go do it. People will pay attention because you're checking off and you're doing what you say you're going to do. You're showing up every single day and they see you. They see you working towards that every single day. People are paying attention whether you think they are or they aren't. Okay. The number of likes on a post does not matter. Hear me on that. The number of likes on a post does not matter. People are watching you and people are paying attention and they notice when you show up every day and they notice when you don't. So showing up, being consistent, doing the things every single day is super important, okay? All right, um, so maybe you've been in for a minute and you're like, okay, but how do I continue to tell my story? Like, I feel like a broken record. Guess what? We feel like a broken record. If you're doing it right, you should feel like a broken record, okay? However, having yourself like identified with who you are and the value that you want to bring to people um, is huge in making it super simple to post every single day. So we talk a lot about either your pillars or your brand, whichever you want to call it. Um, but these are some questions when you're trying to um, kind of identify, okay, I want to be known for this or my brand is this. You guys, we're in, we are in marketing, so you've got to identify what your brand is and what you're going to um, be posting about and how you're going to be sharing. And you don't, <laughs> you don't really post anything outside of your brand, okay? Um, so let's go over how do you figure out what your brand is? What are you good at? What do you enjoy? What do you know so much about that you could talk and teach about with no prep? And what are you already known for? So I had a, I had like an identity crisis like a year ago. I was like, you guys, I don't know who I am. I don't know what my brand is. <laughs> and I've already gone to the top of the company, you guys. And I was having this like, I don't know. I don't bring any value to people. You guys, you guys stop pushing yourself down. You have so much to offer people and so much value to bring to people. Um, so my brand, okay. So my brand is, I'm just going to go through what mine is. So it might help kind of, and I have some ideas that maybe you can, um, come up with too, but I'm a mom. My family is super, super important to me. I like fitness. My faith is super important. And then who I'm growing to become is my fifth. Now, the awesome thing about this is I go ahead and branch out all of those into more things, okay? So a mom, I'm a girl mom, but in that I'm a gymnastics mom. I'm a hair mom. I love doing her hair. I do lots of fun braids. Um, I'm a boy mom, I'm a dog mom. So you can branch each one into different things, okay? Family, I'm a daughter, I'm a wife, I'm a work from home mom. Fitness, I like to exercise. I kinda like to eat healthy foods, but I kinda like to eat not healthy foods. It is what it is. That's my brand. Um, nutrition, at the gym, faith. I'm very involved in my church, but I also have personal. Um, and then in my marriage, faith is very important to both of us. So those are all the things that I'm talking about, you guys. And that is what your brand is what brings people into your network that allows you to connect with them and them to you. That's what will really grow your network is who you are and the value you bring um, in what your quote unquote brand is. But it's really just all about becoming the best version of you and offering value to people um, when they come to your page. So maybe for you it's fashion or makeup or hair or uh, maybe you're a dog mom. Maybe you don't have human children. Maybe you don't want human children. Maybe you're just a dog mom or you love animals or you do horseback riding. I know there are lots of, lots of different interests in here. Um, maybe you're a business owner outside of It Works. Maybe you like to entertain. DIY projects, that's huge. Um, people love to connect with DIY kind of stuff. 
Um, maybe you love to cook or bake, or you can share recipes. Um, but really, I would really, really encourage you to get your brand down on paper and figure out who you are. And your story is told through all of this. So when you're sharing on social media, you're really sharing about all of these other things, but how it works is kind of sprinkled in. It's just sprinkled in to all of it. So when I'm talking about being a mom, I'm gonna talk about maybe one day I'm talking about um, how I used to struggle to pay for Ellie's gymnastics, but now I'm so thankful that this business has allowed me to cover every single month. Um, my goal has always been to be able to cover those in fast start bonuses. So that's part of my story. Um, when you're sharing your story, the kind of general can like flow is um, maybe you start in the present, but then you go back to, but I remember before I joined this business, this was where I was. And then you come back to the future and then you look forward. Um, so sharing your story will become easier once you just kind of get, get in the flow and get the hang of it. Um, but it is literally something that you have to do every single day on your page and in your, and in your story. Um, and again, we have amazing leaders. So follow, follow the leaders that we have. Um, and I keep a couple of different versions of my, I actually just made a new one this evening before we hopped on, um, a couple versions of my story in my story. So I try to do, if I'm talking for my product story for the day, I try to just do pictures for my opportunity story. So um, again, I'm gonna flip through these and show you. So this is just like random throughout the day stuff. Okay, now this is my opportunity story. So it says, um, it's a good picture of me. You could use a picture of just you or your, you and your kids or you and your husband or you and your dog, whatever your brand is. Hey y'all, let me introduce myself to those of you who are new around here. The next one is, um, my name is Trista. I'm lucky to be married to the love of my life and have two amazing kiddos. Five years ago, I was working in a career that I loved as a pediatric RN, but I was tired of working so much, but still living paycheck to paycheck. I found an opportunity on Facebook. I started to pay for $500 a month to pay for extras for my kids. But what I got was, this is what happened. So again, you guys, whatever your story is, wherever you are, just put it out there, get creative, get some good pictures. Um, one of my favorite things to do is if on a day where I actually do my hair, which is like twice a month, I will go around and I will make my seven-year-old come take pictures of me all over the house. Um, I'll change my outfits because I literally do not get dressed six days a week. I wear the same leggings and a sweatshirt and that is, that's just mom life, right? That is just the kind of season of life that I'm in. But when I do get ready, I take full advantage of it and I get a ton of content and I get a ton of pictures. Um, so that way I just have it. Um, okay. I think that was the one that was going to take the most time. Now the rest of these are going to, we're going to be like, we're going to breeze down pretty good. Okay. Um, number three is go to your Facebook friends list and interact. Now on the tracker, it says um, pick 25 people, sort from newest to oldest, then like and comment on their pages. So what I personally do, I um, don't sort my friends newest to oldest. I actually go to my news feed and instead of it popping up like the algorithm, what it thinks I wanna see, I actually go to my settings and go to see more. And I switch it to most recent and that will bring up the most recent posts on Facebook. So that brings up not what it thinks I wanna see, but who of my friends list actually posted most recently. One, I know I'm gonna get um, some new people that I usually don't see. It's gonna be people that are active. I am to my Facebook friends limit, so I also use this time to unfriend people. If it's somebody I come across and I'm like, eh, we don't really jive, we don't have a lot in common, I will actually get them out of my friends list because I just, I, you only get 5,000 friends on Facebook, so you gotta make good use of them. Um, so I, this is where I go to interact. 
Um, you guys, we are in a relationship building business. So interacting is huge. Not only is it going to establish relationships, but it's actually going to allow your, your stuff that you're posting to show up on people's pages more. Um, Facebook wants to know, are you here just trying to spam people or are you genuinely, it is a networking app. The goal of the app is networking. So if it seems very one-sided to Facebook, they're not going to show your stuff. So interacting with people and building relationships is huge. Um, same with Instagram. Um, and just liking is not enough. There has to be some genuine comments. It's going to be great if you, they actually respond back to you. Same thing when people res, like comment on your stuff, respond back to them because it tells Facebook, like, I'm here. I'm a real person. I'm not just trying to spam people and like sell people something. I'm here really trying to genuinely build relationships. Um, so I will just go and I will comment like, um, I try to leave more than one word comments. Um, but yeah, that's interacting. Interacting is pretty self-explanatory. However, it is the easiest trap to fall into the scroll hole. Okay. We're not here just scrolling. You guys, we are here with a purpose. We are scrolling with a purpose. You are trying to interact with people and not just randomly scrolling. Um, the other thing that I will use that time to do is if I see somebody who is another leader or a post of someone that is in it works that I like, I'm like, oh, that's a good post. I will save that post at that time so I can come back to it later when, you know, sometimes I'm in a pinch and I don't have time to come up with a post. I have hundreds of saved posts that I can go and I can um, pull from and just like change the wording, make them mine, add my picture, add my face, add my story to it. Um, okay, so that was, Interact on Facebook, same thing, interact on Instagram. I do spend about 10 minutes on newsfeed and then I will do five minutes in story. Um, story, when you interact in story, go straight to their messenger. And so if they, if messenger is one of the strongest algorithm boosts that you can get. So if you can get somebody to respond to you in messenger, I can almost guarantee you that your next post is gonna show up on their Facebook or on their feed. So respond, um, interacting in story is, um, is huge. Okay. Now we made it through one through five. <laughs> We're halfway done. I promise the rest is wrapped up pretty much in host to post. So, um, six, seven, eight, not nine, but 10 is all about messaging and having conversations with people. Okay. So back in the day, it used to be, we just had to send out random messages to people and pray to God that they were interested in what we had. Okay. Post to post changed the game, you guys. And um, I feel like most people on here probably have a pretty good idea what host to post is, but I'm gonna go through it super fast and just give a couple of tips that have, um, that have kind of worked for me and helped kind of take it to another level. So host to post is essentially just when you have your friends on Facebook make a post on their wall for you. Okay. Um, if you are in purpose driven, we just started a brand new giveaway today. If you're in a different team page, that's totally fine. Every single person on here is a part of some giveaway in some team page. The just amounts that I say might be different. Okay. So purpose driven's um, giveaway right now is two $250 gift cards. So later tonight, I'm actually going to go on my Facebook page and I'm going to say, um, Hey guys, giving away $500 to $250 winners, um, drop an emoji for a entry or something like that. We have tons of different um, examples that you can pull from, but that's just a simple one to kind of for the, for an example. So then once people start dropping their emoji, I'm going to love their comment and I'm going to private message them. And the message says, hey, I saw your comment on our giveaway, all you have to do for an entry is make a post on your wall for me. Sound good? You guys, if you don't have WordBoard downloaded, you need to get WordBoard downloaded. It will save you so much time, especially if you're going to be building your business and you're going to be doing host to post, which is honestly like the number one thing that's important to building your business. It will save you so much time. I put it off for forever. Um, and I wish I wouldn't have because it just, it took it like, I, what, what was taking me like three hours took me to like an hour. Okay. Yes. So if you word board is for iPhone, 
I know there's Clipto or TextPand, I think for Android, um, or I don't know if Android just has straight text replacement, um, but WordBoard is incredible. So when I go to message somebody, Sherry, I'm gonna act like I'm messaging you. Okay, so Sherry commented on my giveaway post, okay? So I'm gonna message her and ask her to post for me. So when you pull up the, the message, if you go down here to the little globe, once you have WordBoard added as a keyboard, it will actually pull up your WordBoard keyboard, okay? So you can put it into folders, you can kind of have it however you wanna have it, but mine, the host of posts asked to give away is the first thing that pops up. So when I click on that button, it auto generates that message into here with just pushing one button, okay? So it says, hey, I saw your comment on our giveaway post. I would love for you to win. All you have to do for an entry is make a post on your wall for me. I will send you, sound good? She says yes, okay? So then once she says yes, I have my coffee host a post right here. Coffee host a post. I have my picture saved in my favorites. I'm gonna send her the coffee host a post, you guys. The host of posts are in the team page, in the announcements tab. Um, it's like the messaging, it has like, um, I don't, you will find it. There's like 15 posts in announcements. Um, so it's under there, I promise. The, the scripts are all under there. So I personally, I send this, I send, I do send a picture. I have found that it, like, it works better with the picture. So I send that. And then once Sherry's network starts, start, starts commenting, they're like, oh yeah, I could, I like coffee. I want to lose some weight. They're going to comment. I am going to friend request them. And then I am going to private message them. So I love their comment. I reply back, hey, I'm messaging you or sending you a message. And then I private message them again. I have them all set up in my word board. So coffee message number one is right there. And it says, Hey, hope your day is going well so far. I saw your comment about my coffee. Are you interested? They're gonna say yes. And I'm gonna send coffee message number two. Yay, this is what the coffee is. And then I end, it ends with, are you looking to lose weight or would you like a healthy energy boost? Okay, the next message is, oh my gosh, this is gonna be great for you. I love it so much because, so you can personalize that piece of it, how you use it is totally fine. Um, the next message is, let me send you some pricing. Does that sound okay? And then the last message is the pricing. So um, the pricing, make sure, because Skinny Brew is part of the deal right now, um, make sure that you have it adjusted for the pick two. And then after the 20th, if it doesn't get extended, then we do have to change that pricing. Um, but that is what you're going to do for host to post, okay? Here's the thing that I love about host to post so stinking much. So if you do, if you're consistent with host to post, and my goal is 10 host to post every single day. So if you get consistent with host to post, you're going to have some that get no comments, but you're going to have some that blow the heck up. So when those blow up, you're going to be friend requesting everybody. So you're adding to your network. You're having conversations about the product. Now, you could say, but I'm not, um, I'm not messaging 20 people about the opportunity. Well, here's the thing. Everybody that posts for me is getting a message. Hey, thank you so much for posting for me. I don't know if you've ever thought about it, but I think you'd be great at what I do. Have you ever thought about making some money from home? Every single loyal customer before I put their order in, okay? So if somebody's interested in coffee, we're gonna get set up. Hey, I am so, like, I would be so happy to get you set up, but I just have to throw this out there. Have you ever thought about making some money from home while you use the product? So you're having those conversations all through coffee host to post, essentially. So every, every single person that you talk to is a potential distributor. They just don't know it yet. And a lot of times they still don't, they don't know it because they got it. They don't even know like what the business is about yet, but you're planting the seed um, and then they're going to continue to watch. And as you're sharing your story every single day, now you have them in your network and they're paying attention to you making your coffee, but also talking about how the business is changing your life, right? Do you see how all of this works together? Um, and it really does. So that's host to post in a nutshell. I'm going to try and wrap it up because we got, 
I'm actually proud. I thought we were going to go way over. So I'm kind of proud of myself, you guys. Okay. The last thing that we really haven't talked about is coffee samples. Um, so number nine is coffee samples. So a lot of times when I'm in my story talking about coffee or making my coffee, I will throw out there. We have an amazing sale going on right now, but we also can do three day coffee samples. I always lead with the little customer um, program and then fall back on coffee samples once they're like, oh no, I don't like commitment or I don't like auto shipments or whatever the case may be. I want to try it before I commit to anything great. We have we have a sample, $20, I'll send it to you. Um, I cover shipping, how's that sound? So um, samples is the other thing. Okay, I had two things that I wanted to add that I think really should be on this list. And I have heard rumblings that corporate is kind of reworking the list a little bit, but follow ups should be on the list. Follow up. Um, you guys, most of the time, people do not order the first time I talk to them. It's usually on the third or fourth or fifth or sixth or seventh follow up where I'm like, hey girl, I know, I know you were interested. Is today a good day? And you guys, it's normal if they don't respond to you. Okay, it's part of it. Um, we gotta get tougher skin if we're gonna be successful in this business. It is just part of it. Um, people have to see something seven to 21 times. That's across the board, that's sales in general. People have to see something over and over and over before they um, are interested in it. So just, just know that it's part of it. But following up, I usually, I always follow up on Friday. I usually do it a couple more times throughout the weekend. But keeping track of everyone that you've talked to is so important. Um, so we do have, um, we have post to post trackers in the team page. There are tons of different um, kind of formats that you can look at and see what works for you. I like the ones that are boxes, but there are some that just have like, they're more like graphs. So it's whatever works for you, but being able to um, pull a list and know like, okay, I need to follow up with her. I thought I've talked to them having somewhere where you know, like who you need to go to. And next time pick two comes out, I'm going to go back to all of the people that I talked to this time about um, coffee that haven't ordered yet. Um, or next time there's a BOGO out. Um, yes. So the winner of the video, I usually put it in my story. I usually, um, will actually put my like opportunity story in there. So I'm going to, probably add it after what I just posted tonight um, where so they have to watch like they have to watch my entire story before they get to the winner uh, but then I will put on my actual page that I um, posted the winner in my story but I usually post the actual video in my story um, host to post trackers yeah there's they're in eSuite or they're in the team pages um, okay so that was follow up. The last thing on the list that should be on the list that is not is self development. And I know you guys get tired of hearing about it. Um, but self development every single day is so important. And I know me and Kara were actually having a conversation about this because Kara Kramer has just completely turned it on and blown it up. And like there is a, a visible transformation that has happened. And when you ask her why, that is what she says self-development 100%. Um, it is literally, it is, this business is 98% mindset, 2% action, like that, that action every single day. Um, but it is so much mindset, you guys. Um, so I'm, I was going to give you a couple of books that I have read recently that I really, really like, and I recommend. Um, and I know it, on the newbie training, we've talked about atomic habits and we talked about, um, go for no, we're great. I just finished Dream Big by Bob Goff, and I loved it. It's very like light reading. It's pretty, it's more like inspirational. 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. I know a lot of people are reading that right now. Grant is very, very red. He's very red. Um, very good, very red. Um, and It Takes What It Takes is another great book as well right now. So um, for those of you who are still working full time, I can tell you, I honestly thought that self-development was like a load of bunk when I first started this business. I was like, mm-hmm, my mindset's fine. I'm good. Like, I don't need that. Um, but you guys, you, you just don't realize 
how bad you need it until you start doing it every single day. Um, and it literally, it will transform your business. Your level of success in this business will never, never outgrow your mindset. So you have got to constantly be growing your mind. I remember hearing the um, kind of the phrase or the, um, when I first joined, somebody said, multi-level marketing is self-development with a compensation plan. And it is 100% true. The more self-development you do and the more you grow as a person, the more your paycheck will grow. I can guarantee it. Um, so it should absolutely be on this list as a daily. So I know if you're working full time, when I worked full time, it was really, really hard. Like it was one of the first things that I would like try to put on the back burner where I'm like, well, I got to message people. I got to be doing all the things. Um, so my car became my self-development clinic. I literally would not listen to the radio. I had an hour commute to work every single day, way home, way there and the way home. I would pop on YouTube. Now I would listen to a podcast or I would um, listen to a book on Audible. Some of that stuff wasn't really that um, readily available when I was working full time. Um, but now there's literally, there's no, there's no reason not to do it. Put it on in the shower when you're getting ready um, in the day. Just turn on a podcast. Um, Rachel Hollis has a great one. Ed Milet has a great podcast. Um, he's one of my absolute favorites. I, I think his heart is so good. I just really enjoy listening to his podcast. Um, but find somebody that you connect with that, that just kind of lights you up and just constantly be listening to it. Pour into yourself because as you grow and as your team grows, your team is going to need you to pour into them and you're not going to be able to do that if you aren't being poured into yourself. I can guarantee um, that great things will come if you take that piece of this business seriously. Business aside, you will just become a better person and ultimately that's our goal, right? We just want to become better people um, and I can promise you that you will if you just kind of lean into this business and everything that it offers. <sighs> I think we did it, you guys. I think we did it and I ended on time. I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Um, I love being on with you guys tonight. We are always here, literally always here. If you guys need anything, we don't know you need something unless you ask. Um, so if there is something that you feel like we could do to support you better or you have questions or a resource that you think would be really helpful to you or your team, let us know. We are always willing, we're growing, we're learning. We're in this thing together. So I know um, me and Britt, neither one of us or Jess or any of the other leaders, like we didn't really expect to be multi-level marketing professionals, but here we are and we love what we do. And we're so um, thankful for every single one of you guys that hopped on. It really does make all the difference in the world to have some faces to talk to. I just appreciate you guys so much. Um, and yeah, so tomorrow, Brittany's doing a real Zoom. It's gonna be awesome. The info is in the team page. Um, and you guys just let us know what you need. I'm so proud of every single one of you guys who hopped on and I cannot wait to celebrate an amazing month with you guys. And I'll get this uploaded before I go to bed. All right, you guys, have a good night.